Hello everyone, a warm welcome here to Laithwaite Community Stadium. This is a huge afternoon in Woking season. They need a swift response to that really disappointing away defeat to Epsley on Tuesday night. And Michael Doyle has ran the changes, three of them to be precise, with the Yaskalainen, Cuthbert, Ince in for Andre Jr., Wilkinson and Lewis. David Noble, Wilson Major just in front of us, just giving out some last instructions before Henry whips in this free kick towards the back post. It's gone through everyone. And a goal kick in the end, but <clears throat> got some good whip on it. Aaron Henry, just over 20 minutes played. Deadlock yet to be broken. Here's Jack Cook. Cook now looking stride forwards. Ferguson flicks it towards Cook. Cook makes the run inside the box. Cook composed himself, trying to give it into the feet of Alarakin. An interceptor from Kelly Evans. And cleared away from Akinola for Wilson throw. And, and again, Cook. Plays it just over halfway to Alarakia. Nice touch get away from Edwards. And Dice hits it off Alarakia. Now Alarakia running onto that forward ball. And Yaskalainen's out of his goal. And that's a really good block there from Yaskalainen. And he clears it out for a, a throw to Wilson on the right-hand side. But again, that was good goalkeeping there from Yaskalainen. Yaskalainen. A short to Dice. Dice. Goes to the long diagonal foot towards the middle run of Jane Luca. Lovely touch on Luca. Luca shot and just tipped wide by Marcus Dewhurst. And finally, John, a chance awoken. Yeah, and a long ball over the top. Really well controlled by Luca. Did well to make the space, and it was an excellent save from the keeper. At last, the crowd have had something to shout about in what, the 45th minute? Yeah, and it will be Jane Luca who took that shot on to take the corner kick Lucas corner towards the back post headed down and wide at the target and that is the half time whistle gone that was a, a big chance there and it looked like it was Cuthbert at the back post who headed wide Mason leaves it here for Mundell Smith short forward pass to Mason Mundell Smith making that overlap and run Mason he closed down for Luca but plays it to Mundell Smith good challenge from Dion Kelly Evans but Mundell Smith gets it back keeps the ball in play as well Mundell Smith into the inside left channel to Alarakia shifts it onto his right foot and that wasn't too far away from goal whip shot with his right foot just wide the target there from Taron Alarakia there John Wilson came back forward. into the feet of Henry Henry slowly bringing it forward Aaron Henry just beyond the centre circle right footed pass curved to Seaman Cook now looking to make the overlap and run he goes inside to Young Young now to Cook here comes Cook Cook right side the box Cook Looks that cut back, it's inside the D, lovely turn, and a shot towards Goff Alarakia. And that is well saved there from Will Yaskalainen. And it's a corner kick to Wilson again, another threatening moment from um, Wilson there. Tremendous save, but Woking were just completely cut open down this uh, left-hand side. <coughs> Mundell Smith, Mundell Smith carries it over halfway. Mundell Smith inside to Alarakia, back with Mundell Smith. On his outside is Mason, just over halfway, Mason. Comped on the ball, plays it through the middle, and that's nice feet from Ronald Smith. And now here is Andrews, left side of the box, puts in a low cross towards Ferguson, the back post, and Ferguson hits it into the bottom corner. And Wilston on the 65th minute break the deadlock in this crucial contest. Really nice work from a short free kick, played it through the middle, out to left hand side, and a ball across the face from Andrews to Ferguson to put it across the face of goal into the bottom corner. Woken nil, Wilston won. Well, sadly, it's been coming. Wilson have been much the better side this half. They've taken the game to Woking and, you know, they've now got their noses in front. And all I can say is I hope somehow this woke, wakes Woking up from their slumber. But... Casey throws it to Ince. Ince lays it back to Casey. Casey, now ball on the line, the area to Edwards. Edwards goes to shot, comes off the post. Big opportunity for Woking and Wilston clear. Yeah, so unlucky. Found a little bit of space. It was a decent shot, low and hard, and it sort of almost hit the inside of the post. You hoped it might go in, but no. Out it came. That's Woking's best opportunity of the game, really, perhaps apart from, you know, Cuthbert's header right. Another uh, head into another defeat against the relegation rivals. A short corner taken from Henry. Whipped in to the box towards the back post and just couldn't find Ferguson. Took a nick. Off a Woking player on the goal way. down to Wilson. They have a corner to take on the left-hand side. Clipped in from Curtis Edwards. Headed into Corboa on the line of the area. Corboa back into the feet of Edwards. Edwards towards the back stick and it's headed away by Cook. Only as far as Manny Oileke. Let's get down the right-hand side. Oileke 
Make space to get the cross in. Hedo into the bottom corner from Charlie Kendall. And that is an inspired substitution. Game on here at the late fake three stadium. Charlie Kendall, he's barely been on a minute. What a piece. Well, you've got to say brilliant work from Manny Oyelaki though over on that right hand side. He beats his man and it was an absolute peach of a cross. Fair play to Kendall getting on the end of it. And let's hope that ignites Woking and they can now kick on. So this has made things very, very interesting now. Headed away from Cook. Now poked into the feet of Corboa in the centre, close to Eric Corboa, clip from Cook, and Kendall takes on the shot over the bar. But the referee does pull it back for a free kick. 23, 24 yards and goal. Lewis Walker lines it up, over the wall, pushed away. Von Duras was on target. But comfortable for the goalkeeper to punch it out, but it has trickled out for a woking throw. If they were to win this, goal kick taken from Yask line and flicked into Kendall. Kendall forwards and Walker looked like he had a shirt pulled there. And a referee comes across quickly and a yellow card shown to Charlie Barker. So free kick to Woken inside right and there was a clear pull on the shirt. Oyeleke. What can he do from this free kick? Manny Oyeleke lining this one up. Oyeleke is going to lift it into the box. Headed down for Walker and it bounces all the way across the six yard area and out for a goal kick to Wilston and again another moment that Woken can't take advantage of wasn't a bad with Oyleke into his midfield pan Edwards out to the right out to left there to Casey Casey trying to get a cross in still Casey Casey trying to get into the box Casey keeps his balance still Josh Casey Casey lifts the cross in Oyleke on the volley just wide so close there for Woken and Manny Oyeleke on the volley, hit it with his right foot, centre the box, low, just wide of the target. And that was almost a moment there for Woken. And Crawley, the only team winning at the moment. And it's a long ball through the middle for Casey to chase. Casey, edge of the box, has the pace to get to it. Casey holds the ball up against Seaman, plays it back to Edwards. 30 seconds to go, the stop time. Edwards towards the back post, it's volleyed over from Lewis Walker. What a chance for Woking to win it, John. How did he not keep that effort down? Well, it's another glorious opportunity spurned. You know, you're what, five yards out and you somehow lean back and put it over. Goodness me, composure, man, composure. And Woken have had some brilliant chances in stoppage time. Oi, Leke's volley. And then that one from Walker at the back post was a lovely delivery. From Kurt. Now throws it back to Jaskalainen. Needs to get it upfield quickly. And the final whistle goes. It is Woken 1, Wills to 1. Can hear a few boos. Well, really, Woken will still look at this with two points dropped despite them being a goal down. Nathan Ferguson opened the scoring for Wilston. Charlie Kendall barely been on a minute, 70, uh, 79th minute of the match. Oyeleke, uh, one of the other Woken substitutes from the right, whipped in a beautiful cross. And here in this crucial bottom of the table clash in Woken and Wilson, it's ended one apiece. John